what's up you guys after show reaction today i'm going to be reacting to some more dollhouse this is season one episode eight yes titled needs um so yeah let's get into it you i only have a few minutes they can't know this body left an engagement you have something we need i have something you need what is that Millie. I guess I took too long getting back. You're already with yeah, this is her? a dream. I was, I was I wondering. This is confusing for all of us. Don't think of them as children. Think of them as pets. Is that supposed to be funny? If your child starts talking for the first time, you feel proud. If your dog does, you freak the hell out. Already enough. I get it. I think I get it. <clears throat> The sedatives and antipsychotics we pump into the pods with the O2, the subliminal tone patterns. I think I could play with that cocktail a bit. I know what I'm doing, Doc. So do I. But I also care what you're doing. To our pets. I will take it into consideration. I need reports. At the end of every. I'm on Fred's side. I'm always on Fred's your side. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Caroline, wake up. Help. God. God, help me! Wow, you think that you're in like a coffin. So did this happen after they changed the meds then? Because I'm just saying, if that's the case, Fred was right. I'm leaving before the electric shock. <laughs> Okay, so she, defense mechanism. I'm just her really actual character is Australian. Anybody else got anything better than aliens? We need to assess the situation, formulate a strategy. I remember a lot of storylines, but makes sense. Yeah, and when they come in with hate. guns, what do we fight with? They're people like us. But so calm. Maybe they know why we're here. See, so, yeah, why did the lights in the door open then? This is on purpose then. Oh my god. They do that to you here? Yeah. Echo, please. That's it. No, I want to know. What the hell happened? Duck. They're watching. I like banana pancakes. I want to climb the rock wall now. Isn't that what you want? Tell me and I'll do it! It's Mike. Hey, pal. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank God. It's back what happened to you? I had a treatment. We lost Mike. We save ourselves and we do it now. Not with her. Right on ticket. Okay, so I was, I was right. All right. So it looks like they have a lot more actives than. It's time. Twenty six, which would be the alphabet, right? I don't know. I remember. The men. They had guns. They took me away. Remember the man who put me here. What is all this for? Us. You all say Echo. There's a rack for each of us. I have a daughter. Katie. Really? And the guy that put you here, what's his name? I, I don't know. No, you do know. What's his name? His name is Nolan. See? On your toes, people. We have a black SUV license plate number 386 PCE embarking with the following four actives Victor, Sierra, November, and Echo. I can't leave. Did you see Tango, that sweet girl? That is not a costume warehouse we just busted out of. That's a people warehouse. Look at this thing, it's too big. There's too many of them. They got guns. What do you think you're gonna do? Try and make a difference. Hey, it's the Slayer. She's very good at fighting. Ouch. Oh my god. This don't even exist yet. Meaning what? Meaning, if me and everyone else I know powwowed, still wouldn't figure this out. What about scrambling it? Someone put this on you? Huh? You're gonna need an RF detector, smart scrambler, a frequency jammer, and to believe in God. Because I don't care how big you think you are, they're bigger. I know where Katie is. You do? That's wonderful. Let me out here. Oh my god. She was in the car. Apparently she's got one step ahead of us. I should have seen this coming. This is Caroline. 
minus the memories. I put them in a chair and I program them. You can't program people. We're not friggin' computers. Not that different. How long have I been here? Ah, uh, a little while. A day? A month? Kinda more. Tim. Uh, whoa. Hey, what's going on? A little blackmail, maybe? I wouldn't put it past you people. What you did to me, putting me in that hell, what did I ever do to you? You said no, and no, nobody ever says no to me. No. Owning you is better than real estate. <laughs> you kids hop the fence. It doesn't matter. You don't exist anymore. I'm more of a person than you. Honey, you're programmed to give me and, and you know, anyone else whatever we want, whenever we want it. You will see me again. Yes, and I look forward to it. I'm all confused because that's not the same. This way. Guy. It'll be even better now. What the hell is wrong with you people? We're good people, nice people. We help people become better people by giving them what they need. Who was I before you killed me? No, 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 no. You are not dead, clearly. You volunteered. You're lying. Okay. You don't have your memories. I didn't give them to you, so you don't remember that. Why am I not like them? The rest down there. What they're like when you're not pimping them out. We're running a test on you. I remember a mountain. Somewhere peaceful. Is that real? Or is that part of your test? Real. Who are they? Maybe Nolan's guys. What do they want? Take us back, probably. Or kill us. Look. I'm just the science guy. Up here, looking down on everyone, playing God. I want you to let them go. I don't have that kind of power. I swear, I can't. I can. <laughs> All I can say is that you couldn't live with the consequences of your own actions. And you no longer have to. You're letting us all go. Feel free to leave. Who are you to decide for the others? Something you should have been asking yourself. Okay. So we agree. No one gets in the chair. When we were in that place, when we were like, what Mike turned into, what the rest of them were, empty. I remember you. What? Somebody hurt you. Like no one. I could see it happening. Oh, God, I could see his face. But I couldn't stop it. Wait, you wait for me when we go to bed at night to make sure I'm okay. Anyone here thinks they've got a better idea? Sound yeah, like fucking Daisy. We give them what they need. Open loops. If they're able to close those loops to get some sense of resolve. You're recommending we allow them to take a self-guided journey? Just the priority cases. I get it. Okay. Oh, I, I just love that the, the, they said a tide is rising. The moment they felt closure. It means so much to me. November needed to grieve for her daughter. I understand that. And Sierra, she needed to confront the man who took away her power. And Echo, she wanted to free us all. What about Victor? He wasn't going back to a trauma or a need from his past. He had a more present need. Well, it was Fred's idea. I'm all Fred. He's not gonna wait for her now. Is he? Paul Ballard, this is 
You don't know me, but I have a file, and your name is in it, and I think we've met. I know it sounds crazy, Kill it. but we're here, somewhere underground. I'm trying to get everyone out, but if I can't, please, please find us. Alrighty, well, that was uh, season one, episode eight of Dollhouse, titled Needs. It was a really good episode. Learned a little bit more about like the backstories of the actives. Um, makes me wonder about like uh, I'm sure they said her name, Mel Melly's like M Millie's whatever her name is. I'm gonna call her November. Um, yeah, her like daughter was it like a stillborn or like was she responsible for its death or I, I don't I'm curious about that don't tell me I don't want to know but I do want to know but don't tell me um makes you wonder um, what Vic like why Victor like, it just makes me wonder why they're all here. Like, what led them to say yes? Like, I mean, I know we got answers in this episode, but, like, it's got to be more than that, I think. Hmm. I don't know. It was a really good episode, though. I did really enjoy it. Um. What do you guys think? I would like to know. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, 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 uh.